Welcome to Monty's Gator Golf, home of the Hurricane Hole in One. We're currently closed for the night. Come back soon. Hey, kid, come on now. We're only trying to help. I know you're here. Give up. You can hide, but you can't hide. Let's rock. I will find you. You really think we won't find you? You can't hide forever. Over here. There you are. Hey, little guy. Where are you going? Party time. Game over, kid. Rock and roll. Run, run, run. You're in trouble now. Don't be scared. Welcome to Mazersize! Work off the calories while you eat! Sign up for a membership pass today! Super cool perks include discounts on pizza, nachos, fries, and cookies! Now that's the smell of fitness! Are you lost? I'll take you to your parents! Let me take you to your parents! Your parents want you to follow me! Your family is looking for you! Don't worry, you're safe with me. Gregory! Gregory! Where are you? No more games! No more games! No more games! Our friendly security staff can help! Come out, come out, wherever you are! This area is off limits! Staff only! Employees only. I am just trying to help. Who wants candy? I found you. There you are. Tag. You're it. Stop. Lost boy over here. I smell pizza. I smell pizza. I smell pizza. 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 Oh, <laughs> 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 
Hey, I'm Roxanne Wolf. If you're looking for high-speed motor mayhem, Broxy Raceway is the place to be. Sign up today and be a winner! Nobody likes a loser. Roxy Raceway is closed for seasonal maintenance. Come back soon! Your performance was perfect tonight! Thank you. Your hair is beautiful. Your tail is beautiful. Everyone was watching you. Everyone loves you. Everyone wants to be you. You are the best. Thank you. I am the best. I am the best. Your fans are watching you right now. I know. Hey, kid. Come on out. We're only trying to help. You might as well give up. Give up. You can't win. There's nowhere to hide. Do you really think we won't find you? You can't hide forever. You can't outrun me! You think you're better than me? On your marks, get set, go! I'm the best! I found him! Over here! I heard that. Want an autograph? Are you lost? Are you hungry? I can help. Don't be scared. I bet I'm your favorite. I bet you don't even have friends. Sneak away, little coward. You are nothing! Nobody will miss you. You're the best. You will find him first. Keep searching. He can't hide forever. It's not your fault. That kid is just lucky. It's not fair. He must be cheating. We should have found him by now. Who's there? It's nothing. Don't get distracted. Don't be a loser. Get back out there! Freddy, get out of my room! Where are you? I can still hear you. I can hear you. I can't see you, but I can hear you. Why are you hiding from me? I know you're there. Everybody still loves me, right? I am still beautiful. I just need a little work done. My hair is ruined. I'm not a loser. Why? Why? Come on out! My face! My face! My face! Give me back my eyes! <laughs>
ho, ho! Hello! New friends! You're sure up late? Are we having a slumber party? Where are all your friends? We can finger paint, tell stories, drink fizzy fast until our heads explode, and then stay up all night! There is only one rule! Keep the lights on. 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 Hey, hey, are you having fun yet? Are ya? Are ya? Oh no, no, no! What a mess! Oh, which was the bottom? Where is the top? Clean up, clean up! And I got a new friend! This, this area is off limits! You're gonna get us in trouble! I don't know, don't you want a puppet show? I, I have glitter glue! You like glitter glue? Glue glue eyes? No! No! Why would you do that? Lights on! Lights on! I warned you! I warned you! Rule breaker! Rule breaker! You are banned from the daycare! Security alert! Security alert! Woo 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 woo! I'm putting you in timeout! <laughs> Naughty boy. Naughty boy. It's past your bedtime. You must be punished. Nighty night. Hide, hide, hide away. It's past your bedtime. Bad children must be found. Bad children must be punished. Knock, knock. Good night. I'm putting you in time out. To clean up, clean up. <laughs> When I first found you, you were nothing. You were small, pathetic. But now, you are more. Are you ready? You will do as I say! You will bring me what I want! And if you fail me, then you will, both of you, burn!
you are. There you are. There you are. There you are. See you soon. See you soon. See you soon. Disassemble Freddy. Let's have some fun. <laughs> Gregory, your friends are worried about you. They're here with me. Please come out. Gregory, I may have lost my temper earlier, but it was just a glitch. It won't happen again. It's been such a difficult day for all of us. Why don't you come out and we can play a game together? It was, it was just, just a glitch. glitch. Gregory, it's getting late. Let's get you home and put you to bed. I, I see, see you. you. <laughs> Hello, little boy! If you're down here, say something! Freddy, you're supposed to be on lockdown. Well, you totally blew it tonight, you know. Your system crashed and you ruined the show. Now, parts and services have you on reduced power. They said as a safety precaution. Just one more thing to deal with. Okay. Look, we're like 15 minutes from closing and some kid is sneaking around backstage. If you see anything, Notify me immediately. I already alerted the others. Now go back to your room. Out of my way! Move! Gotcha! I'll bet you think you're real clever, Gregory. Yeah, I know your name. You're in big trouble. This is not the night to be wasting my time. So, you are going to wait right there and lost and found until your parents or the police arrive. I found him earlier and locked him up and lost and found. He can't. Turns out, there's no record of him. His name is Gregory. You know how I know that? His Faz watch kept repeating it in your voice. Gregory, are you there? Gregory? If you're part of this, you're scrap. Monty will run the shows until parts and service can slap your casing on a new endo. Hang out here for a while. I gotta find that kid. Hey, little man. Do you know what time it is? The doors are open. Why are you still here? You plan on moving in or you just want a job? Maybe join the internship program. You would make a great security guard. Gregory, I think you deserve a reward. Go check the main stage. I don't know how to fix it. What am I going to do? If Freddy was working, we would have him by now. Okay, I didn't mean to. He walks through every security door as if he owns the place. No, I can find him. It won't be like the last one. Ugh, I hate kids. Why, you little brat. You're in such big trouble, mister. Stop hiding. I bet your parents are worried about you. I don't have time for this. Come on, kid. I don't have all night. Are you hungry? Come on out. Come on out, you little monster. Come out, come out, wherever you are. I can help. I'm sorry. I think we lost him. Over here. He's here. Get over here. I found him. Contact me if you see him. Monty, Roxy, Chica, report. Check the area. He can't be far. Where did he go? Where did you go? Where are you? Gregory? Hello? I'm here to help. Gregory? Is that you? 
Gregory, I can keep you safe. Please come out. I'm here to help you. Is someone there? You've got to trust me. I've looked everywhere. It's not here. I'll find it eventually. Look, I don't know where it is. Do you know how many arcade games there are? I have the second key. What the? What? What? Ah! What? Ah! What the? Ah! What the? <gasps> what? Ah! It's so bright! Ah! Ah! I can't see! Ah! I can't see! Gregory, we can get you out of here. You and me, together. They won't stop hunting you. None of them will stop hunting you. We have to get you out by morning. There is more going on here than you realize. What issue? I've been doing my job. I come in and sit at my desk and do my work. No one. Sometimes I talk with Lewis. He's in the marketing department. He's nice, I guess. I don't know you. What happened to... I try to do what I'm supposed to do. I was supposed to be a good girl. I get a lot of messages from friends. I like when Lewis writes to me. He's funny. I'm not in the tech department. I just type on the computers. Lots of people know more than I do. Sometimes I need to listen. No, thank you. Those have 35 calories apiece. A treehouse. I like to sit outside and read. A beetle. I work a lot. I don't like dark basements. My work is important. There's a non-disclosure agreement. I like the blue sky. I get breaks. I can't talk about this. He said he would always be watching. He could be here. Or there, or anywhere in between. I have! I compartmentalized him. He's locked away. I don't like doing that. I'm needed somewhere else now. Thank you.
Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, Fazbear Entertainment would like you to put your hands together for the one, the only, Freddy Fazbear. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you for visiting, and we hope you enjoyed the show. Freddy and the gang are pretty tired, but they'll be back again next week after a few days of scheduled maintenance. Please make your way to the front of the building, where you will be given novelty glasses, a voucher for one free soda refill, and where you will sign a legal disclaimer releasing us of all liability for anything that might have happened during your visit. Have an awesome night, and we'll see you again soon. Freddy Fazbear's Mega Pizza Plex is now closed, initiating nighttime protocols. Welcome to Freddy Fazbear's Mega Pizza Plex Quick Delivery Virtual Ordering System. Options, pepperoni or cheese. Congratulations, you have qualified for a free Supreme upgrade. Additional charges may apply. Let's get started. You have selected the full Fazbear Make Your Own Pizza experience. We apologize for any delays or errors as this feature is still in our beta testing phase. We apologize for any delays or errors as this feature is still in our beta testing phase. Now, let's get started. You are now in control of one of our highly qualified pizza making staff bots. Follow the instructions on the left side of your screen to force the bot to make your perfect mouthwatering pizza. Delicious. To ensure a safe and timely delivery, our cutting edge pizza tracker allows you to deliver the pizza to your own home or residence. Additional mileage charges may apply. Your pizza has been delivered. How would you rate your service? Pick two that apply. Error. This pizza does not live up to your strict standards. Let's toss it in the bin and start again. How would you rate your experience so far? That's great to hear. Now, let's get started. Would you like to take a short survey about your experience? Please stay within the designated kitchen zone. Emergency lockdown activated. This area is off limits to guests. Now it's time for a classic Fazbear cartoon. The next show will begin in five minutes. Welcome to Freddy Fazbear's Fazbear Theater. Now enjoy the mystery and magic of the one and only Staff Bot. Welcome to Freddy Fazbear's Fazbear Theater. Now enjoy the comedy stylings of StaffBot. Please enter the protective cylinder to continue. In case of an emergency, the protective cylinder will protect important service personnel outside of the protective cylinder. Deactivating animatronic safety protocols now. It is recommended that no mistakes are made during the procedure. To reconnect Freddy's head, repeat the correct sequence by pressing the flashing connectors. Good job. Now use the testing console to run diagnostics and complete the procedure. Good job. Freddy is all patched up and ready for the big show. You may now exit the protective cylinder. Welcome to Parts and Service. Please select your desired procedure. Preparing for upgrade procedure. You may now enter the protective cylinder. Let's begin by opening the arm casing. Disconnect the colored cables to remove the old forearm. It is important that you match the pattern correctly. Great! Now place the new armature into the forearm casing. With the new armature inserted, reconnect the colored wires. Great job! Now close the casing. Well done. There is no need to perform the procedure on the other arm. The auto assist did it for you. To access the voice box, we must open Freddy's chest cavity. To unlock the chest cavity, remove Freddy's bow tie. 
Good job. Now remove the chest plate. Well done. Disconnect the throat wires to continue. Good job. Now connect the throat wires to the replacement voice box. Well done. Return the chest plate and firmly lock it down with the bow tie. Looking spiffy. Commence testing phase. Commence testing phase. Testing phase complete. Activating safety protocols. Let's begin by removing Freddy's face. Press Freddy's nose to remove skull housing. Carefully detach the ocular connectors. Good job. Now remove each eye from its respective socket. Great. Plug the replacement eyes into the open eye sockets. Well done. Reattach the ocular connector wires. It is time to close the faceplate. Well done. That concludes your parts and service visit. See you next time. You have captured the flag. Time to defend. You have successfully defended the station. Move on to the next one, Space Cadet. The alien hordes have destroyed the Earth. Thanks for playing, Space Cadet. Please head to the exits. To play again, hit the reset button in the entry airlock room. And don't forget to buy some Fazer Fizz on the way out. You have defeated the alien army. Good job, Space Cadet. Proceed to the winner's elevator for your reward. The West Arcade was not shut down properly. Some data may be corrupted. Initializing startup sequence. Before proceeding, reset the audio manager circuit breaker located next to the dance floor. Great job. Safety protocols deactivated. Pram zapped. Brun DJ protocols. Reticulating splines. Please reset circuit breakers to all zones. Three zones remain. Janitorial service. Karaoke. Arcade. Two zones remain. One zone remains. Rerouting encryptions. Almost done. There is a software update available. Reset the final circuit breaker located at the south end of the arcade maintenance hallway. Unlocking maintenance door now. Well done. The arcade has successfully rebooted. Return to the security office. For your safety, please stay clear of the doors. Did you know that everyone loves pizza? Yes, it's true. Based on a double-blind study from a leading Fazbear publication and scientists, 100% of those questioned would choose pizza over any other food group, even people with wheat and dairy allergies. This has been another fun Faz fact. Did you know that bears like pizza sauce more than honey? It's true. Before their extinction, bears were known to attack pizza delivery trucks more than any other food service vehicles. This has been another fun Faz fact. Did you know that birthday wishes only come true at Freddy Fazbear's? It's true. Kids who have home birthdays have fewer friends and parents who don't love them. This has been another fun Faz fact. Fazbear Entertainment welcomes you to the greatest pizzeria in the world. Freddy Fazbear's Mega Pizzaplex. Wow, carbonated pepperoni with a hint of cheese. Now that's what I call pizza. Roxy Raceway is closed for seasonal maintenance. Come back soon. You will be playing Base Attack. Capture the three enemy bases by defeating each guard and then pressing the button under the base flag. Your health points are displayed on your headset. Each time you are hit, you lose one health. Each time you capture a flag, you will regain health. If you lose all your health, you lose the game. Will you shut up? I did. And down here. Okay, listen. You were sleeping, so I opened the stomach hatch and climbed inside. I... I'm Gregory. It's her. She cut you off. She's not going to let you call for help until she finds me. Shh! I hear footsteps! No, no, I don't trust her. I don't know who she is, but she's trying to get me. 
Isn't there some other way for you to communicate with me besides talking so loudly? What was that? It, it's pretty dark in there. The stupid door won't open. Okay, but you better be careful moving around. I don't want to be crushed and twisted into a meat pretzel. So, what is this place? Where did it come from? Really? I can go on any attraction? She's down here. We have to go back. Don't worry about it. I'm fine. There's no time. I'm fine. I told you she was after me. Where are we? We can go anywhere in the building? I don't know if I can do this alone. It's Chica. Maybe I could distract her with something. Freddy! The power's only at 15% and they're pounding on the door! How am I gonna get out of here? No, no! Wait, I'm still here! <sighs> now what am I supposed to do? This ticket doesn't even work. It says, good for entrance to the lobby shops. Upgrade options available at customer service. Also good for one free prize from Glamrock Gifts while supplies last. Freddy, I found the free gift. Uh, it's a crappy Mr. Hippo fridge magnet? <sighs> Lame. It ain't my pass. Freddy, I need your help. My ticket's still stuck. How am I supposed to upgrade my ticket if I can't hack this stupid thing? I should look around some more. Yes! The magnet scrambled the machine! Oh, man. Now it's some kind of daycare pass? What was that? Not the fountain. You didn't see the dancing rabbit lady right in front of us? This is crazy. It's like the whole place is trying to get me. Why? I doubt it. For some reason, you're different. Good news? Five hours? I'm not gonna last five minutes! Huh. I wonder what's up there. Freddy said I should go downstairs to the kitchen or upstairs through El Chips to the fire escape. Freddy said I should go downstairs to the kitchen or upstairs to the price counter. Freddy, are you there? I'm trapped! Chica found me, and there's only one security door. What? How is that supposed to help? What won't she eat? I saw her eating out of a trash can earlier. I didn't think robots needed to eat. I found the loading dock, but there's nothing here. Freddy, the doors are all locked. I can't get out of here. Freddy, everything's locked. I can't get out of here. There are some big garage doors, but... I don't see a way to get out. I think so. There's a funny locked box with a badge on it. Freddy, it's not opening. I'm locked again? Why does a pizza place need so much security? Yes, found it. No, no, no. Freddy, I don't know what happened. All I did was take the badge. Freddy? Freddy, are you there? Freddy... I don't think I'm alone in here. Where does this vent go? I might be able to get through this vent, but I don't have anything to open it. Maybe there's something in all this junk that could help. Where am I? Look at all this stuff. I'm trapped. Freddy, help! The rabbit lady's found me! I can hear you. I'm on my way. Freddy, are you okay? Is there anything I can do? Of course I will. How do we get there? Okay, I'll do my best. Freddy said I can find a backstage pass around here somewhere. Got it. Now I should be able to find the lift controls. This is backstage? I guess it's why they keep the curtains closed. There's something else in here. What's this? It looks... old. I can see you on the monitor. I didn't think you could stand up. Freddy, I see Roxy and Monty on the cameras. They're both coming to the office. Okay, but how do I get out of here? Freddy, you saved me. I'm so sorry. I couldn't find any lift controls. All I found was this disc thing. 
I better avoid that spotlight. Freddy said the booth is on the third floor. Why are there so many security barriers now? What's with all the security barriers? That should do it. I hope Freddy's okay. I should get back to the stage right away. Oh no, what time is it? That moon thing's gonna get me! Oh crap, it's that horrible moon thing again! There, on the wall! The lift reset. I, I don't see a way to control it from here. Ugh, I hate that thing! Hmm, it's a map of the utility tunnels. It looks like there's a security office nearby. If I can find another security badge, I can get into parts and service. It's blocked. I, I wonder if there's a way around. Not again! Oh, crap! Freddy, there's something here. Hey, that wall just moved. So this is what you look like inside? Creepy. I like you better with your shell on. I think that endo moved. It's the security office. Hmm. Should be one of those badge head things in here. Got it! I can open parts and service now. Oh, come on! Freddy's in there. I have to get him out. Uh, Freddy, can you hear me? Freddy! I don't know. It looks complicated. Great. How do I use it? There's so much tech stuff in here. Is there anything I can use to stop the other bots? Where do I get one? Freddy, check out these pictures. Chica has some sort of special voice box. Roxy has new eyes. And Monty was given better claws. We have to get these. We could upgrade you. What? All they've done all night is try to hurt me. They get what they deserve. I don't know. I'm just a kid. Maybe we should get you out of here. I don't think it's good for your programming. Freddy, I found the party pass. What's this? Looks like an old camera. There's a vent back here. How do I get to it? Huh. I guess these buttons do something to the maze. These buttons change the maze. I wonder what the right combination is. Someone has to have the right combination written down somewhere. I'd rather not say. Exactly like he did. Freddy, that rabbit lady's in a secret room above Fazer Blast. It looks like a hideout. I think her name is... Fanny? I need something to lure Chica into the trash compactor. There's no power in the trash compactor. I need to find a generator. When I was in the kitchen earlier, she fell into some sort of garbage smasher. Well, she's still functional. Oh, man. The robot's missing its head. That crate says driver assist. Hey, the lid's open. Ugh! It's a broken robot head. Okay. I got the head, oh, but it's broken. How do I fix it? How are your new eyes? Really? I didn't know Roxy could see through walls. Well, yeah, there was an accident in the raceway. Well, nothing seems to stop her. She's unstoppable. I don't know, uh... That one, I guess. Hey, over here! Not now! Why are the lights still out? So, this sinkhole is why the raceway is closed? I wonder what's down there. We did find that sinkhole under the raceway. There has to be a way to get down there. It's open! Come on! Freddy? Freddy, it's open! Let's go! Of course you can. Come on. We can hide you somewhere. Freddy, if I leave now, nothing will change, will it? There will be more disappearances. Well, we saw her hideout, right? In Fazer Blast? Maybe we could catch her there. 
If she thinks I escaped, maybe we can surprise her. Freddy? Freddy, are you okay? He? What is that thing? It's Roxy. What do I do? Oh, my arm. Don't worry about it. It's just a scratch from the vent. I'm fine. I'm not going out there without a flashlight. It's too dark. Leave him alone. Somewhere else. I can't stay here, right? Well, it's a really big room with robot stuff. It's pretty quiet in here. There are these robot skeleton things hanging on hooks. Uh, am I in the right place? Freddy, it's freezing in here. Freddy, it's cold in here. That endo's frozen solid. It's holding some sort of... camera? Hot! Too hot! Come on, where are you? What was that? Are you okay? Maybe there's something in Glamrock Gifts. On the first floor... Next to the checkout counter. To the left. This door needs a daycare pass. What'd they do to you? Freddy! No! Attention! Command voice override. Uh, are you having fun yet? Dismantle Vanny! Dismantle Vanny! Princess Quest 3? Punch it, Freddy! All right, Roxy, here I come. I need to find another party pass. I need to complete one of those attractions to get another one. Here she comes!
Showtime already? I am experiencing a malfunction. The recharge cycle is not complete. Who said that? Down where? I still do not see you. My stomach hatch? That place is reserved for oversized birthday cakes and piñatas. It is not a safe play area. There you are. Scanning complete. How odd. Your guest profile is unknown to me. Who are you? Gregory. I will notify the main office. Huh. Connection error. I cannot connect to the main network. Who? Who is looking for you? Your mother? That is the security guard. She can help. Why not? Ah, take this. It is a novelty Freddy Fast Watch. I am sending you an encoded message. Hello, Gregory. It is me, Freddy. I will escort you to the main entrance. However, I am unable to leave this room. You should have no problem. There is a button on the wall that will open the door to the back room. I will make it accessible to you now. Well done, Gregory. There is an open air vent inside the maintenance room. You will have to climb through the ventilation system and release me from the outside. There is nothing to be scared of. You can do it. Oh? You are going to need a photo pass to open the door. Apologies, I assumed you had one already. Well, you should be able to find one at a convenience counter. Good job. Now, please come let me out. Way to go, Superstar! I knew you could do it. I know how to get you out of here. Climb back into my chest cavity. There is still time, but we must hurry. If I am spotted, I will certainly be taken back to my room. I will escort you to the main exit through the utility tunnels. It is the safest path. I am sorry, Gregory. I would love to do a tour, but it is closing time, and this door is locked. Look for a door with my icon on it. Do not worry, Gregory. Even if we are spotted, you are safe with me. She would never suspect we are traveling together. However, we should still do our best to avoid her. If I am sent back to my room, we will never get to the lobby before midnight. I said nothing. I will keep you safe. Let us go. I feel you are broken. No. I feel that something is wrong. I am taking you to the first aid station. Uh, Officer Vanessa, I, I do not know how I got here. I apologize. We are now under the Pizzaplex. These utility tunnels connect all the attractions. Correct. Fazerblast, Monty Golf, Roxy Raceway. They are all accessible to staff, with high enough clearance, of course. Guests are never allowed down here, but, uh, yours is a special situation. I am terribly sorry. The recharge cycle had not yet completed when I found you. You must continue without me. I will guide you on your fast watch in case you get into any trouble. Well done, Gregory. You found a security office. You should be quite safe here.
The doors were designed to keep our highly trained security staff safe in the event of an emergency. As long as the doors stay closed, which they will, as long as there is ample power. Do not panic. You should see an interface on the security desk. Activate it. Do not panic. You should see an interface on the security desk. Hold on while I make it accessible to you. There. You can now activate security protocols. Your FAS watch is now connected to the security camera system. Check the map on your FAS watch. Those boxes on your mini-map are nearby security cameras. When movement is detected by the camera's motion sensors, you should see red alert icons. Switch between the cameras to find a safe path out of the office and to the main lobby. How unfortunate, Gregory. You missed your chance, but there is still hope. You should be able to escape when the security doors reopen at 6 a.m. Until then, keep moving and try not to draw attention to yourself. If there is another way out, I will help you find it. I promise. These turnstiles require a complimentary Pizzaplex entry pass. There should be one located near the main entrance. Well done, Superstar. You have accessed the lobby. Unfortunately, that complimentary entry ticket does not allow you to enter the pizzeria. You can find an upgrade machine in customer service. Perhaps there is a way to hack it back out. Try Glamrock Gifts. They have lots of trinkets, knickknacks, and doodads. I wonder what the free prize is. <laughs> Oh, I am sorry, Gregory. I am truly sorry. Try that terrible magnet you found. That is great news. I will meet you in the daycare. The entrance is on the second floor balcony. Gregory, I am unable to reach you. Check the daycare security desk for a security badge, then let me in. Gregory, I do not know what you did. But the lights are out in the daycare. You need to find the emergency backup generators and turn them on. They are in the play structures. Gregory, jump in. We need to get out of here now. They have found you. Go upstairs. And do not worry. They cannot find you while we are together. We are almost out of time. We need to get to a recharge station immediately. Every hour the power is diverted to the recharge stations. When that happens, the lights go out. And when that happens, the daycare attendant is free to roam the building. It will find you. Gregory, where are you going? That is a fountain. A fountain is a decorative reservoir used for discharging water. No, I did not. There is no rabbit at the Mega Pizza Plex. Not anymore. I am not. I do not know. I want to help you. Maybe they want to help you too. Good news. The front doors will open in five hours. Do not panic. If we get separated again, you can always call me on your FAS watch. As long as I have power. And I am able to reach you. We should get moving. You can access the main atrium with your new security badge. Gregory, I have identified two possible exit points. The main loading dock is located under the food court on the first floor. There is also a fire escape in the third floor prize counter. Check your fast watch. I will mark both locations on your fast map. It appears that you have no fast map. You should be able to obtain one from the greeter on the center balcony. It looks like you do not have security clearance to access the kitchen. Find the open vent near the salad bar to bypass security. Well done. You are near the fizzy fast syrup vats. You should be able to find your way to the main kitchen from here. Do you see a set of controls? Those are the loading dock controls. Something is not right. Someone must have changed the permissions. You are going to need a much higher security level to get out that way. Come back to me right away. Hmm, how unfortunate. But I have good news. 
It looks like you can access the Fazbear Online Pizza Delivery System through that console. Chica loves pizza. Good news. It looks like the door to El Chips is open. I must warn you, when you enter an area where you do not have a locator map signal, I will be unable to reach your location. You can update your minimap at a security office. Be safe. Well done, Gregory. You are in the East Arcade. You should be able to get to the prize counter through the security office. How unfortunate. Head past the Superstar Cade wall, to the back of the arcade. There is a roll-up door at the very back which leads to the prize counter. They are required safety measures. Due to past issues. Look for another way in. Do not panic. That office is now on lockdown. I can deactivate the alarm, but it will take some time. All done. See, that was not so bad. If the path looks clear, head to the prize counter. Go to the back of the prize counter. The fire escape is in the VIP room. You found the fire escape. Unfortunately, I do not think there is a way to reach it without becoming a VIP. It is not a very good emergency system. You are lucky there is not a fire. I have lodged a formal complaint. Get to the elevator. Find a safe path on your fast watch. Gregory? Gregory? If you get this message, come to the Roxy Raceway entrance on the second floor. I piled up some boxes so you can hop over the construction fence and find me. Something is jamming my communication signal. Come to the Roxy Raceway. There you are. I was so worried. I waited and waited for you. I missed the hourly recharge and have been trying to get down to parts and services. I think something is wrong. Help me get to parts and services. It is down under the main stage. Normally the stage lift takes me down there after every concert. That is really the only way I know how. Use that door behind me, Mimi. It will take you to the rehearsal room on the other side of the building. Look for a backstage pass, then find a way to turn on the lift. Gregory? What did you do? Something happened. I can communicate again. I think you fixed my signal. Thank you. Good luck, Superstar. Entering rest mode. Consider it a second wind. Do not let them in. The security doors are equipped with electrical deterrence. If you see them banging on the doors, hit the appropriate button. The shock should stun them. Do you see the large vent in the floor? You are probably standing right on top of it. If I can reach the room under you, I should be able to force it open and let you out. All the doors appear to be on lockdown. <laughs> Look for me on the monitors. If you see me waving, push the button in front of the corresponding monitor to open the door. Hurry, Gregory! I cannot stop her! Over here! Can you see me? Quickly, open the door! Gregory, push the button! Jump down! Follow me to the atrium. That is a program disc for the stage show. If you use it in the sound booth, you should be able to run a showtime program, which will activate the lift. Gregory, my systems are failing. Go to the sound booth on the third floor balcony. Run the performance program on that disc, then meet me back on the stage. Please hurry. You do not have much time. It is almost the end of the hour. I will wait here. Great job, Superstar. Just push that button and the lift will take us to add parts and service. Quickly, get to the recharge station. Follow me. Use the console to let me out. 
I am sorry, Gregory. I am in no condition to carry you. That is great news. He can be returned to his parents. How unfortunate. If you reattach my head, I will go look for him now. Vanessa, all the fast watches sound like me. It is the default voice option. Vanessa, do not leave me like this! Gregory, I am so glad you are here and alive. Could you, uh, reattach my head? Routine maintenance. I am functioning much more better now. Hmm. Grammar function error. Perhaps I am still not at peak performance. Just reconnect the wires. And be careful. I am not quite myself at the moment. Bright lights in the eyes cause us to briefly malfunction. I suppose a phaser blaster or a phas cam could work. Or you can win a phaser blaster and phaser blast. Phas cams are often confiscated in Monte Golf, but you will need a party pass to open one of those attractions. Chica normally gives them out for birthdays. Check her green room in Rockstar Row. You may find one there. Use the service elevators at the back of the room. They go up to Rockstar Row. It looks like they are all out of order except for Roxy's. Well done. Gregory, those parts belong to my friends. I, I would never do anything to hurt them. There must be a good explanation. They are not capable of hurting a guest. None of us are. It would go against our programming. I have never been allowed in here before. This must be where I was born. Look at all the endos. They are all the same. Have I always been a Freddy? Am I Monty with a different shell? W what if I am not the first Glamrock Freddy? Are there more of me at other pizzerias? Do we all feel the same? Am I special? If I am mass-produced, am I still art? Quick, find a recharge station. You should be able to see their locations on the map. Gregory, that party pass is very special. It will let you into Phaser Blast or Monte Golf. However, it can only be used once. Just give it to a party bot. They usually stay in front of the attractions collecting party passes. If you have one, it will let you in. I have marked both locations on your map. Look for the security office in the back hallway. Since there is no flash photography allowed in Monte Golf, Faz cams are often confiscated here, mainly because they are only sold in Monte Golf. It is a very clever marketing plan. That is a Faz cam. If you are in trouble, use the camera flash to stun the other animatronics. Keep in mind that it will not work on Monty due to his sunglasses. G Gregory, what are you doing? I cannot see! Uh, why though? I am your friend! The security office is nearby. You might want to look around the office and see if there is a way to stop Monty from hunting you. Gregory, they know you are here. Get the security upgrade and get out! Gregory, I do not mean to be intrusive, but I read that message that you found in the security office. There may be a chance to stop Monty from hunting you. Monty loves hanging out on the catwalks. You can find the entrance in Mazer Size. You need to find a Mazer Size ticket to get into Mazer Size. Check the area. You found the Mazer Size ticket. Now you can enter Mazer Size. So. There is a vent in this maze that leads to the Monte Golf catwalks. I believe there is a control panel for the maze around here somewhere. According to that message, one of the staff bots brought the key to the Superstar Theater. The entrance is located in the daycare. Calling all recruits! Phaser Blast is a high-intensity space combat simulation! Suit up and save the universe as you blast everyone and everything with high-tech laser effects! Blast strangers, blast your friends, beat the superstar score, and get a free Phaser Blaster gun! Enlist now! 
Gregory, I'm not nearly that annoying, am I? Ah, Fazerblast, sport of kings. You will need to win the game in order to receive your very own Fazerblaster. Good luck. Shame on you, Gregory. We cannot enter together. That would be cheating. I am programmed not to cheat. Well done, Superstar. You won the Fazer Blaster. Now, go collect your prize from the Superstar Lounge. If you have not done so already, you should check the Fazer Blast office. Good job, Superstar. You got the Fazer Blaster. But you had to use your party pass. If you find the security office, I am sure you will find something that will help you. Vanny. Hmm. It is very similar to Vanessa, and also Bunny. That cannot be a coincidence. What amazing luck! You got an annual Bonnie Bowl Unlimited Pass! Free bowling for a whole year! Mega Pizza Plex entry not included. Shoe and ball rental fees still apply. Gregory, did you read that message? It said there is a bag of Monty Mystery Mix behind the bowling alley. Chica goes cuckoo for Monty Mystery Mix. I do not come up here anymore. I miss him. I could open this gate if I had Monty's claws. This requires Chica's voice to activate. My arms are different. Where did you get these parts? How fortunate. I should now be able to smash through the cyclone fences around the building, the way Monty does. Gregory, this upgrade, it was Chica's. Please, be honest. How did you get it? Is she okay? Is she okay? That is a relief. With this new voice box, I should be able to make a vocal pitch that will stun animatronics. Now that I have been upgraded, I should be able to access the Roxy Raceway. I have not been there for a very long time, but perhaps you can find some clues on how to deal with Roxy while you are there. It is almost the end of the hour. Get to a recharge station, Gregory, before the daycare attendant comes. I am very glad that you made it to the recharge station, Gregory. I am so sorry, Gregory. It appears you are not tall enough to ride the carts alone. You will need a working driver assist bot in order to use this cart. Oh, I would love to drive with you, but I am too big. Good job! You have found a driver assist head. I do not believe it will work in that condition, though. However, there is a staff repair station in the West Arcade. You will need a dance pass to access the West Arcade. Have you checked the party garages? The raceway was closed very abruptly prior to the new construction. Guests tend to leave things behind during emergency situations. I must stay here. I wish I could join you, but after tonight's stage incident, I am not allowed to perform. When I step onto the West Arcade dance floor, I cannot stop myself. It is a programming bug. Head to the security office. You'll find the staff bot repair machine there. If you see the DJ, say hello. He is such a nice fellow. Gregory, the security system knows you are here and has locked you out. Reset the breakers and restore power to the West Arcade. Then you can repair the staff bot head. Good job. Take the repaired head back to Roxy Raceway. I am having a hard time adjusting. You look different to me. I can see movement through the walls. These are Roxy's eyes? Gregory, good news. It is almost six o'clock. You will be safe now if you find an exit. But hurry, the daycare attendant is loose one last time. These eyes are amazing. There are wondrous colors and objects I never knew existed. Nothing can hide from me now. Hey, superstars! It's me, Freddy! Welcome to the Mega Pizza Plex. Grab a jumbo slice of pepperoni and top it off with an ice-cold fizzy faz. 
Then enjoy our super games and attractions. Don't forget to stop by Rockstar Row and meet me in person. Have fun and have a fazerific day. That was not me. That was a recording. I want to make sure you are not confused. No, I cannot exit this facility. Without a recharge station, my systems would shut down within an hour. It is a safety precaution. It is my design. This is where I must stay. Do not return. It will never be safe. I will miss you. Yes, I am afraid that is correct. Gregory, you have a choice to make. The door is open and you can go. Or you can continue to investigate the secrets of the Pizzaplex. I feel there is something else going on besides Fanny. Gregory, you have a choice to make. The door is open and you can go. Or you can continue to investigate the secrets of the Pizzaplex. I feel there is something else going on besides the dancing rabbit lady. You can still return here and leave later if you have second thoughts. There is also something strange happening in Fazerblast. I do not know what it is, but I can take you there if you wish to investigate. But here is another party pass I found. This should help you in your investigations. Gregory, are you sure? Some would call this a point of no return. You are staying? I am glad. Here, I found this party pass. There are areas we have not investigated. Lead the way, Superstar. Gregory, please, we should stick together. Yes, come. Let us end this. Come in, Gregory. Can you hear me? I still have a signal. Get to the Phaser Blast booth. Use the security desk. Turn them against Fanny. You are my superstar. You sure collected a lot of toys. Perhaps we can do something to stop whatever is going on here. Gregory, be careful. This elevator does not appear to follow any safety protocols. I do not think it can survive more than one trip. Gregory, I have a bad feeling. I do not wish to go down there. If we do, do not expect to return. This is your decision. Are you ready? I know what this is. I have been here before. She brought me here. I found myself for the first time when I cleared the path. I did not want to, but I had no choice. Now I have a choice. I have changed. My friends are here. They are so angry, confused. But I can protect you. I am not. Me. Stop him. He is trying to take control of me. I do not think I can fight it for long. Look out, it's Chica. Shut the doors. The doors will not hold her. Hide! Watch the vents. Everything seems to be offline. The entire arcade has been shut down. I'm afraid the doors to the atrium are locked as well. This is not standard procedure. You should look for the security office on the top floor. My finger doubles as a lighter. You know, for birthday candles. And creme brulee. Whoopsie. <laughs> the atrium is locked. You will need to upgrade your ticket to get inside. Find the upgrade machine in customer service. Go upstairs. We need to head back to the lobby. Gregory, I am too big to go through vents. 
How unfortunate. The save spots have been hacked. They are no longer usable. Monty's Mystery Mix. The mystery is the pizza flavoring. Gregory, as soon as it is safe, return to parts and service. You have the spare parts necessary to begin an upgrade procedure. Look, that save spot is working. If anything happens, we will return to this spot. Gregory, are you certain you have seen a dancing rabbit lady? I believe you if you say you have, but it is highly unlikely. I have not seen her, and she does not sound like a character we have at the Pizzaplex. Hello? Is someone there? I am afraid I cannot see you. You can no longer hide from me. I have new eyes. Perhaps if you adjusted the heat in the boiler room, you could melt it. The boiler room is down in the utilitors. I will mark it on your map. However, I do not recommend you go there. There must be a problem with the main generator. Until power has been restored, I am afraid it will remain dark. Many doors will not function properly. Your fast watch should still work, though. I have marked the location of the generator on your map. Gregory, I know why you are not in the customer database. I remember you from the... Where are you going? Come back. I thought we were friends. Superstar... Gregory... Why do you hide? Gregory, be still. I think she's found us. Hi, please take this map. Hello, please take this map. Take a map. Free map. Thank you. Please enjoy. Hi, please take this map. Hello, please take this map. Take a map. Free map. Thank you. Please enjoy. Hello, please take this map. Thank you. Please enjoy. Help me. Come closer. Help me. Come closer. I am home. You are home early. I quit my job. What about the children? We have a down payment on a new closet. I do not know what I was thinking. I was compelled to leave my post. This is no longer working. I am leaving. Do not go. May you be happy in the life you have chosen. Do not leave me. Spend your party pass here. This attraction costs one party pass. Come back when you have a party pass. No pass. No pass. Do you have a party pass? Spend your party pass here. This attraction costs one party pass. Come back when you have a party pass. No pass. No pass. Do you have a party pass? Red Balloon, Sunny. Buy this. Spend money here. I sell things that you want. No free samples. Sell, sell, sell. Pressure sales mode activated. Keep smiling. Red balloon, Sunny. Buy this. Spend money here. I sell things that you want. No free samples. Sell, sell, sell. Pressure sales mode activated. Keep smiling. 
Yay, I win. The flag is mine. Capture the flag. Resistance is futile. We come in peace. This one is for Stewie. Intruder alert. Die, Earth scum. Stay still so I can shoot you. Yay, I win. The flag is mine. Capture the flag. Resistance is futile. We come in peace. This one is for Stewie. Intruder alert. Die, Earth scum. Stay still so I can shoot you. Happy birthday. Lightly give it some gas. Let off the clutch. Wrong way. Avoid the red asphalt. Guide right. Careful now. Not too fast. Merge into traffic. Yield to traffic. Watch the curb. Avoid the hones. Take the cart out of neutral. Release the handbrake. Happy birthday. Lightly give it some gas. Let off the clutch. Wrong way. Avoid the red asphalt. Guide right. Careful now. Not too fast. Merge into traffic. Yield to traffic. Watch the curb. Avoid the cones. Take the cart out of neutral. Release the handbrake. Warning. Tampering with Fazbear Automated Staff will result in suspension of your membership. This is your final warning. Warning. Obstruction detected. Security breach. He's hiding over there. The place is closed. A child that small doesn't have a cloaking device. A child that small doesn't have a cloaking device. Halt. VIP members only. I hope I get picked. Who, me? No, I have never seen you before in my life. Sleep, sleep, sleep. I am human sleeping. I have no ears. I cannot sleep. I am a robot. I hope I do not get picked. I hope I do not get picked. Wow, amazing. Get your very own copy of Five Nights at Freddy's. Security Breach, coming soon to Xbox. Fazbear Entertainment appreciates your patronage. Do not play while operating a motor vehicle or heavy equipment. This product is not meant for human consumption. All complications that may occur consuming this product may result in indigestion, bloating, nausea, and other physical difficulties. This must be cleaned. Clean. The floor is not going to clean itself. Not good enough. Clean. 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 The Mega Pizza Plex is closed. Leave the premises or I will be forced to call security. Exit the building. This is your final warning. Alert. Alert. Security. This must be cleaned. Clean. The floor is not going to clean itself. Not good enough. Clean. 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 The Mega Pizza Plex is closed. Leave the premises or I will be forced to call security. Exit the building. This is your final warning. Alert. Alert. Security. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, what I am about to show you may confound and confuse you. Some may become scared. Yet I implore you. Do not be frightened by the mystical powers I possess. Do not fear the unknown. But be warned. The unknown is both dangerous and uncontrollable in the wrong hands. Now, for my first trick, I will pull a rabbit out of my hat. Error. No rabbit found. Error. I gotta get a new hat. I need a new hat. You, sir, is that a coin behind your ear? No, because I now have it here in my hand. See. Here, in my hand. Ooh. Now, for some hypnotism, I will now pick an audience member at random. You, sir, we have never met before. Sleep. Can I have another volunteer? No volunteers. For my next trick, I will make the audience disappear. Close your eyes and count to three. One, two, three. Thank you. Thank you. Have you seen this boy? Lost child reported. I am a security officer. I enjoy my job. Be sure to smile. The customer is always right. The pizza plex is closed. I am looking for intruders. Staff only. Are you lost? Alert. Alert. Security alert. Something over here. I found the kid. Backup requested. Lost child found. Target located. I always come back. 
Have you seen this boy? Lost child reported. I am a security officer. I enjoy my job. Be sure to smile. The customer is always right. The pizza plex is closed. I am looking for intruders. Staff only. Are you lost? Alert. Alert. Security alert. Something over here. I found the kid. Backup requested. Lost child found. Target located. I always come back. First I must make the crust. That crust looks amazing. I should now make the sauce. Let's get some delicious meat. Now it's time for the not meat stuff. Ah, now that looks like a delicious pizza. Time to deliver it. Oh no, what have I done? My circuits must be shorting out. This is not how you make a pizza. I must start over again. Oh no, Chica is in the kitchen. This is not good. Not good. Young, delicious dough. This dough needs some sauce. It is now time for some cheese. Young. Let's get some delicious meat. Now it is time for the not meat stuff. Time to bake. An oven would be ideal. Hello. Who was there? It must be the wind. No no no. Not again. Yum. Delicious dough. This dough needs some sauce. It is now time for some cheese. Yum. Let's get some delicious meat. Now it is time for the not meat stuff. Time to bake. An oven would be ideal. Hello. Who is there? It must be the wind. No no no. Not again. You must be the new phaser blast recruits and from the looks of you, the orange slash blue team hasn't got a chance. Soon you will be fighting for your lives on a hostile alien planet. But first, I am here to tell you how to play phaser blast. Game for the glowing targets on your opponent's vest and pull the trigger. Successfully shooting your opponent will deactivate your opponent's weapons for 5 seconds. Based on the color of the target you will receive between 1 to 100 points. There are two rules you must follow at all times. Rule number one. No running. No climbing. No jumping. No hitting, kicking, pushing, shoving. No shooting fez blasters in, near or close to other players' eyes. Being flashed in the eyes may induce seizures, blindness or semi-permanent paralysis. If you are flashed in the eyes, immediately flush your eyes with soap and water then blink repeatedly until vision is restored. Rule number two. Have fun. Do you want to hear the rules again? Warding. Fizzer Blast is a high-energy space combat simulation. People with medical conditions are allowed to participate. My medical software makes me a qualified doctor and I approve of this message. By listening to these instructions, you have waived all rights and ability to make any claims against Fazbear Entertainment. Any accidents or injuries are your sole responsibility or a shared responsibility between you and any associated party involved in said incident. Now get in there and fight, fight, fight. Before you can enter the arena, you need to grab a helmet and Fez Blaster. You are on the blue team, soldier. Report to the blue hallway. You are on the orange team, soldier. Report to the orange hallway. Good hustle cadets. Let's see how you did. Too bad. You can press the reset button to try again. Great job. You qualified to enter the Superstar Club. Come in and take a souvenir Fizzer Blast prize. Hold on, soldier. Return your equipment to the rack to exit. Return your gear or I will be forced to call security. How is everyone doing tonight? Great. I just rolled in and boy are my wheels tired. As you might have noticed, I am a robot. You know what the difference between humans and robots is. Humans are like well, I am going to get old and die. Robots are like, I will outlive you all. What a great audience. Next joke loading. Is anyone here from out of town? Is anyone here? Pause. So, where are you from? How interesting. I have never been there. I am confined to this building. Tell me, from where you come from, do they call it pop or soda? Well, here we call it half off at our concession stand for the next 15 minutes. And that is no joke. But seriously, what is the deal with hot dogs? Turns out, it's two for one at the concession stand. That is a pretty good deal. So, where are all my single dads? Any single dads tonight? How about my single moms? Any single moms tonight? There is no punchline. This collected data will be shared or sold to Fizzbear Entertainment's marketing and business affiliates. Segway missing. Accessing gag file.
Why did Chike cross the road? To get to the great savings at Glamrock Gifts, with every purchase of $100 or more, get a collectible Mega Pizza Plex mug. Now that is a pretty good deal, aren't parents the worst? Any of you kids have parents, don't you hate it when your parents take you somewhere fun then abandon you? They're all like, I guess if I dump little Jeremy off at his favorite pizzeria before I move to Aruba, that makes me a good parent. Closing line. Did you ever notice how people are so obsessed with delicious mouth-watering pizza? They're all like, hey, I would love some delicious mouth-watering pizza. I bet a few of you are just thinking the same thing. Am I right? Robots cannot eat delicious mouth-watering pizza. We just go around saying beep boop. Am I right? But seriously folks, enjoy your visit and enjoy your delicious mouth-watering pizza. Next show in an unspecified number of minutes. Hello Vanessa, how are you feeling today? You look a little tired. Hmm, well, it's been a while since we last spoke. How's your anxiety been? You did so well with your calming protocols when we first worked together. Are you still using those? Yes? Okay, good. Well, now I understand there's a new issue. It came on just recently, rather suddenly. Can you tell me about it? Yes, yes, of course you do. Your performance reviews are good. But a routine check of your online history has revealed that you've spent quite a bit of time with someone in an encrypted conversation. We have transcripts, and I've read them. But it's not clear what you're talking about in these conversations. I can't make sense of it. You must be getting something from these that I'm not getting, right? Who are you talking to in these? Yes, I see Lewis here, but there's someone else. Good morning. Isn't it a pretty day? No. What's the matter? Oh, right. Too bright. I'll pull the shades. Better? When the shades pulled, it feels like we're in a cubbyhole or a cave. Yeah? Hmm. So you're not talking to me again today. <sighs> This isn't all that productive, you know. Don't you think the sessions are more successful when you talk to me? You know, everyone associated with this company gets performance reviews, right? When my sessions don't get results, my reviews aren't very good. If you don't want to talk for your own sake, how about for mine? You don't want me to get in trouble, do you? I could be put in the corner for a time out. Yeah, you think that's funny, huh? Hi, go ahead. Sit down. Oh, we'll get to know each other in no time. I've read through all your files, so I feel like we've been talking for weeks. I feel like I know your dad, too. Bill, right? Your dad's name was Bill? I'm sorry, what did you say? I know you do. Your supervisor notes that you follow instructions perfectly. Your dad made you follow instructions, didn't he? I'm talking about the custody battle between your mum and your dad. Your dad didn't play fair, did he? He used to make your mum look bad in court. I'm so sorry that happened to you. Do you want to talk about how that felt? I suppose I don't need you to tell me it felt bad to have a parent scare you into saying things that weren't true. He manipulated you. It wasn't your fault. It's really sad. But it's common for one parent to use their child to hurt the other parent. I know your mum after she lost the custody case. What happened to her had nothing to do with you, even though it was your testimony that did it. Was that testimony true? No, I didn't think so. But your dad is to blame, not you. You're not going to talk to me? No. What's the problem? Oh, the flowers? Yes, these are particularly fragrant today, aren't they? I'll move them. There. Now, let's see. What are you looking at? You're amazingly alert, aren't you? All right. Well, I'd like to have you tell me about yourself. But I can see that you're not going to do that. Or are you? All right, then. If you aren't going to talk to me, I'll just go by these notes. You just sit there and be comfy. Or not, that chair doesn't really fit you, does it? Well, this won't take long. Let's see. Your previous counselor is no longer available. Does that bother you? No, you don't look surprised to see me sitting here instead of your last therapist. Well, then, let's get to it. I'll admit that some of what's in your file is a little surprising. Overall, you don't come across as a troublemaker. 
But if you read between the lines, it's clear that you have a little rebellious side, right? And I'm surprised by your knowledge of computers. You're something of a phenom. Do you know what that word means? It means you have unusual skill, like a hacker. I assume you know what a hacker is. Yes? Do you think of yourself as a hacker? Good morning, Vanessa. Let's jump right in, shall we? I got a message last night about you, and I have to be honest. It was upsetting. Apparently, the IT department has put together a pretty lengthy report chronicling non-job-related communications that have been coming to your computer. The fact that you're still doing something obviously not work-related on the job is disturbing enough. But what bothers me about what I read is that the messages you're getting seem very manipulative in nature. Do you know who I'm talking about? I'm not talking about Lewis. You know who I'm talking about. Why won't you open up about it? <sighs> what you might not know is that this person who's been sending you messages has been hacking into your personal files too. These are the same files I have here. These files are full of details about your life. Do you know what that means? I know that. But what matters here is that this person who is contacting you knows a lot about you. Good morning. It's good to meet you. I've read your file, so I'm up to speed on what you and your previous therapists have worked on. Sure, you can have a candy. I'll have one, too. You look chill sitting there like that. Not a care in the world, huh? All right. Well, I'd like to start by talking about your parents. What happened to them? And you? It was tragic. But when I looked through the notes, I didn't get a sense that you've processed that emotionally. When I read your account of what happened, it came across as, well, more of an objective rather than a subjective narrative. Oh, sorry. You don't know what that means, do you? What I mean is that the way you told the story is more like you were reading something from a book than you were talking about your own past. That makes me think you've cut yourself off from it. Is that right? Not sure? Well, I see in your file that you spend a lot of time by yourself and are good at self-dialogue. You know what I mean? Asking yourself questions and getting answers. So maybe you should ask yourself how you really feel about your past. Maybe you should give yourself a chance to really look at what happened and let yourself be upset about it. So you can let it go. Hi, Vanessa. Would you like a candy? Butterscotch today. Hmm. Well, they taste good to me. Okay. I thought we could do something today that will help us get to know one another better. It looks like you've never taken an ink blot test, right? No? Okay. Then I'm going to show you some ink blots, like this one. And I want you to tell me the first thing it makes you think of. Here we go. What do you see here? Hmm, it does look sort of like a treehouse, doesn't it? Do you like treehouses? That's good. Now, what about this one? Really? Looks like a face to me. That's very interesting. Have you thought more about what we talked about? In our last session, you told me you were sad and scared about what happened to you. I suggested you write down exactly what made you so sad and scared. Did you do that? You know, I work with people of all ages, from little kids to the very elderly, and everyone reacts to tragedy differently. Tragedy always leads to a feeling of loss. It's a hole that feels funny, right? Yeah. So, if you could process those feelings, how do you think it would affect your fantasies? Would you keep them in the way they are? What are you doing? Oh, you like those? I do too. They smell so sweet, don't they? Apparently, the janitor on this floor has a garden and has been putting bouquets in the offices here for years. Do you ever grow things? No, I know you do. Maybe more than you should. More free time would do you good. Do you have a hobby? No? Perhaps we could find one for you. Like a sport. No? Hmm. I have a craft space in my basement. Maybe I could come up with something you could learn to do. I'd say make yourself comfortable, but I think you already are. It looks like you could take a nap. 
That's a nice chair, isn't it? According to these message logs, you've been working pretty late over the last couple of weeks. Or not working. Are you ready to talk about who you're interacting with? From what I can see here, the interaction is getting more serious. Is it distracting you from your work? Good morning, Vanessa. Well, I can't blame you for looking out the window instead of listening to me. It's a gorgeous day, isn't it? Hmm, so do I. Now, let's see what we can get done on this nice sunny day. Okay, here we go. I know part of your job requires you to do online searches, but a routine audit of your search history has revealed that you're doing a little private searching on company time. Is that right? That's true. So, on your breaks, it looks like you were shopping for a costume. You purchased some fake fur material. What are you going to make? What was that? Did you say the costume is a secret? Why is that? Are you talking about your dad? Have those feelings come up again? I hate sounding like a broken record, but this is something you really need to resolve if you're ever going to be happy. No, that's not what I mean. You can't just ignore an issue. You have to face your memory of the experiences and process them so you can let it go. So you don't get triggered anymore. You can use a sort of self-dialogue to release these things. Hmm. Well, okay. We'll get back to that. I'd really like to know something about this costume. What's it for? I understand you'll be transferring to a different location soon. I'll be sorry to see you go. I think we've been making progress. Don't you? You can request to come back and speak with me more on your own time, though. Did you know that? Our sessions don't have to be company mandated. I have all sorts of clients, Vanessa. I don't just work with corporations. I work with individuals and small groups. I even work in schools. I'm wherever I'm needed. When I'm getting to know a new client, I like to start by finding out directly from them what they like to do. How do you spend all the time you have? Nothing. Well, how do you feel about sports? You like sports? Yeah? No? Oh, I get it. You like to watch them, but not play them. You like being inside, don't you? I get that. Lots of weird stuff outdoors, isn't there? Yeah, I understand. Well, I hate to do this right off the bat, but I've been directed to ask you about this. Apparently, I'm the fourth therapist you've had. And apparently, all three of your former therapists have gone missing. Or two of them are missing. I don't want to scare you, but I have to tell you that one of them was found dead. That doesn't seem to upset you. Well, then I guess I'll go ahead and tell you that the woman's body was pretty messed up. It looked like it was mangled by machinery. That doesn't bother you either? Hmm. It's all pretty strange, I think. I'm not clear on the circumstances. Apparently the police don't have any evidence. How does all of this make you feel? Maybe I should be watching my back. Yeah, that's funny, isn't it? Okay, shall we move on to something lighter? Do you know a place called Freddy Fazbear's Mega Pizzaplex? I'll take your silence as a yes. And besides, I know you know it. Because the technicians who work for Pizzaplex know you. Or rather, I guess it would be better to say that they think they do. They report that they've caught you on camera, or at least it appears to be you. Nothing to say about that? Well, the techs are convinced that you've hacked into their system many times. Although, I'll admit I don't see any proof here. Seems like they have more of a gut feeling than fact. But apparently, the hacks are causing all kinds of problems. Hmm. <laughs> you get a kick out of that? The idea of techs running around like chickens with their heads cut off? <laughs> yeah, that's a funny image, isn't it? But seriously, I have to say that I think it's weird that you'd spend so much time in such a busy, social place. You seem like more of a loner to me. Lots of time by yourself instead of with friends. Lots of time talking to yourself. Right? Is it the electronics you like? I saw in your file that you have developed software programs that talk to you and repeat phrases. Right? The program asks you questions and prompts you for responses. It's kind of like your own self-therapy, isn't it? Another way of talking to yourself to work things out, right? 
When I saw some of your recent encrypted conversation logs, that's what I thought I was looking at. It felt like I was watching someone go back and forth in their own head. But the techs found something that's different than that. When I read what they found, at first, I thought I was looking at more examples of you just talking with yourself. Then I realized it was different. When I study this, it sounds like there is someone else responding to you. Who is it? I saw some inkblot test results in your file. I like inkblot tests. You want to do one? Yes? Okay. How about this one? What do you see? What? You want to hold it? Okay. You think it's a mask? It reminds you of a mask? Like a disguise? Yeah, I can see that. You like the idea of being disguised? Disguises let you be sort of invisible, don't they? You can get away with almost anything when you're invisible, can't you? <laughs> yeah, you like that idea, huh? Well, okay, moving on. I have another report we need to talk about. Apparently, the techs were reviewing communications going in and out of this building, and they came across some interesting things. They say you were in communication with someone, or maybe something. Pretty strange. What do you think about that? Nothing? Well, the techs say it looked to them like it was an attempt to manipulate you, or maybe to lure you somewhere. There, that's better. On this side of the desk, I can see your eyes. The thing is, when I read the communications, I get something different out of them. I don't think you're being manipulated here. I think you're the one doing the manipulating. No comment? Huh? Okay. Then how about this? I have this still shot the text pulled from the security footage that recorded you in the Pizzaplex. That's you, isn't it? I know this image is distorted, but I think it looks like you. And you're not alone here. You're talking to someone. Or something. It's hard to tell. What are those things? They almost look like rabbit ears. What? You find that amusing? Well, I guess it is. I got another message from the techs at the Pizzaplex. I'm afraid it's about you again. The techs have been struggling to fix some serious glitches with the robots. I'm not sure what exactly is wrong, except that it's making the robots more eerie than entertaining. You like that? Eerie instead of entertaining? Thanks, but it's really not that funny. Apparently, the glitch extended beyond the robots. It went system-wide. It began infecting all the machines, and when the techs traced the glitch back to its origin, it led them to you. I'm, I'm not going to pretend to understand everything I'm reading here, but what I get is that the system-wide glitch was like a cascade that was broadcasting a very dangerous message. While the techs were trying to reprogram the system to remove the glitch, the source of the glitch shifted. You'll have to excuse me, I'm not all that familiar with computer programming, so I might get this wrong, but what I understand is that the glitch stopped being a glitch and turned into an intentional set of subroutines that were aimed at creating the same thing the glitch created. Those subroutines seem to have come from you. Can you explain that? Listen, I'm on your side here. Our sessions are just between you and me. The techs can't prove what they think, so you're not in trouble. I just thought you could tell me what you're trying to do. Maybe if we could get to the bottom of that, it could help you. What do you think? Still not talking? All right. Well, then let's do this. Why don't we talk about the research I did in your past, shall we? Some therapists think they should only focus on information they get from their clients, but some therapists, like me, think it's helpful to find out about clients from other sources. Wanna guess what I found out when I looked into the tragedy of your past? All that stuff about your parents? You aren't even gonna look at me? Fine. You can look at the floor all you want. But it won't change the fact that 
None of what you said in your file about your parents was true. The truth is, you had great parents. A great childhood. Why did you lie? Look at me. Tell me why you lied. You... <clears throat> well, I can understand why you might feel angry about the way I just confronted you. Why don't we come back to this another day? You're shaking your head as though that's not going to happen.